Okay. Yeah. Drink water. Drink and water. Mind your business. Drink yeah. water. Before you yeah. start anything, I, I was, I was, I was just going past something. At, mm. um, at, you, of course, you all know Imao Goli. was just talking about. Mm. So when I saw the exercise. I saw his post about um, <laughs> kidney challenges and all of that. And hmm. the most important thing at the end of all he said was, look, there were other things, but the most number one is drink water as much as, much as possible. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a cleansing thing. Is it water? Because, okay, yeah. no, this one is bandit, so there's no need to bother. I still give you, I still trade, but you? Huh? That's in, well, I, that's carry, in, uh, I actually carry a jerry can you actually do, you actually every do. day. You actually do. Um, and I, actually. I, I do what I can to finish that entire bottle every you do. day. So I try. I, I noticed that it, it helped my, my eyesight. Mm. Um, it helped my skin. Um, and a lot of a lot of other things. So that's I good stuff. Not like some of us that are Jokutama mummy, uh, which literally, <laughs> literally means someone who consumes stone without drinking water. Wow. It's it's, it's a, a bad like habit that. I've been trying to get over the what? three years. Like I, I cannot like drink that. water before eating. The food irritates me. I can't drink water while eating. Really? I'll get tired of the food. That's I have. Bad. And when the food finishes, I can't drink water either. And so by the time I want to drink water, I've forgotten like hours hey. later. Goodness <laughs> me. So, so, it's so I guess problem. it's in between meals that you drink water then, I guess. Yeah, more like. More like, Or yeah. sometimes once or twice a day. I think, bad. I think the idea is, so that's why they actually now talk about flavoring your water. So for mm. instance, for you that gets, you easily get irritated, you can actually squeeze a half of lime mm. or lemon in it to give it that zinc so it goes down and stays. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You have a good point. Okay, so um, there was something... Um, okay, you want to tell us about no, no, it? No, no, no. Uh, Go ahead. Winfrey Go had, ahead. had uh, this post standing mm -hmm. by for us, but it is a troubling one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a very sad one, an alarming one, um, and it's a post uh, on social media. It talks about a 12-year-old girl who suffocated her cousin mm and cleaned up the scene before she repositioned the victim's body. Um, starting a Monday with this is, is, is a bit, you know, it's... it's but I think we need to, you know, ripper. consider hmm. how she even got this... No, of course, everything about this is bad, you know, but how, how did she even... Conceive the idea? Conceive the idea, the logic, what was going through her mind, is there a spiritual problem? We don't uh, know exactly what it is. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to... My head goes straight to media and movies and what kids mm -hmm. are consuming these days. Because for her to have that information, mm -hmm. for her to even know what exactly to... Where, where was she getting that? Was that from YouTube? Was it from actual TV? Or was she watching movies that adults should be watching? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and what we expose our kids to now yeah. is... So, like you know, this talk about exposure, there are different kinds of individuals, and we need to take notes and accept the fact that there are actually people who have psychopathic brains. There are people like that. Now, it's a thing of choice to indulge in that cycle or not. There are some people who get through their lives and they use that psychopathic brain to actually be very successful, and they never, ever murder anybody. Unfortunately, this girl of course, has it, and then has been exposed to certain things she shouldn't yeah. be exposed to. So it's more like you're, you're, she's been fed the fodder by yeah. the movies she's seen, the yeah. stuff she's seen online. And so because of that, it's in quotes, in her. Yeah. So she probably, from, from the post, she had a tiff with her cousin about an iPhone Imagine. and decided, okay, I'll get the iPhone to myself. You've got to go. Wow. And that was it. It wasn't just the act. It was what she did after that was appalling and wow. scary. Wow. Crazy. Like, uh, okay, so that's another thing. Uh, devices being, you know, I've, I've heard about, kids fight over a lot, of, a lot of different things. But having a device and not having a device mm -hmm. is a major issue that a lot of kids fight over. Yeah. I've, I've I think heard that so of, many times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dragging of this like device, to, that device. I would like to, uh, you know, uh, focus on, and, and like you said, uh, child, uh, parental guardians, as it were. Mm. Uh, that's what you see. You see PG, there will be no parents and there are wards. Maybe let's call it WG, ward guardians and all of that. And uh, there are some apps, especially YouTube, mm. there are some settings that you don't, you might not even need to watch exactly what they do, but when you set it on kids' version of that thing, mm -hmm. there's some Only that. automated filter. Yeah. filter. <laughs> Now, it doesn't mean that even with the automated filtering, oh, there are some okay. things that they show the kids that might go against your belief sure. as a religious person. So you can also still watch even with that automated filtering. Mm. But the automated filtering would help. You understand? You know, if you notice that when you go to AI to ask some questions, if yes. I've ever gone to AI to say, 
how can I break into the Pentagon? Wow. They try to be as moral as possible. They do, they, there are a lot of questions they won't answer yeah. if you ask about hacking and all those kind of things. So I'm saying that there's an extent to which you can automate what your children are doing mm -hmm. by giving them the kids' version of whatever app it is. Yes, so now there's that, right? When a parent is consciously trying mm -hmm. to literally restrict mm -hmm. what the kids intake. Now, that is when, I, I think right now, especially in Nigeria, because I go to a lot of places where, of course, what the kids are watching have to definitely be within their age yeah. um, limits Bridge. and all of that, yeah. right? So I think parents, to an extent, are actually conscious of that. Now, something I've noticed, however, very recently, when I've actually made certain visits to certain homes, is that it's not even about the kids watching, right? So now parents are at that point where they get frustrated. Say, okay, our station cannot be on Cartoon Network, cannot be on Cartoon Network like all day or be on CBBS or whatever, uh. like all day, do you understand? And then, okay, fine, or your kids, or your play, uh, TV time is over for you, or you go and play. Mm. Then the parents themselves are watching things and thinking that, oh, the kids are literally distracted and playing. Uh, However, they are, watching they are from their side listening. Do you, they yeah. might not even be watching, right? Do you understand? And you know how um, sensitive, like, even the brain is, you know, and also even subconsciously and yeah. all of that. Mm. And then these things are literally being downloaded in mm -hmm. the kids' yeah. subconscious while they're doing whatever mm -hmm. they're doing and mm -hmm. all that. To you, you are watching. Like, um, my sister in law was telling me about how. She had no idea her kids literally, she was watching one, um, a, a very interesting series, <laughs> series and all of that. And then it had to do with vampires. Oh, no. And then, no. whenever, no, no, no. Was and oh, then no. she, they literally are like, yo, I've literally gone to a house, literally, and they're watching Vikings. Wow. Literally, and they're like kids And the kids there. are watching. Do you understand? They're not watching. They're playing. Wow. So you think. It's in the environment. Even it's me, I'm safe. there, I'm conscious. I'm like, okay, yeah. I, are you sure? Do you understand? So yeah. my point is that, like, a lot of times we literally just, un they underestimate the fact that, okay, they're not watching now, they're not focusing now. Or, yeah, when we get there, we'll fast forward it now. But then again, these kids are there, and whether you like it or not, they are literally... There are many, there are there are many individuals with normal yeah. brains, yeah? yeah? But I keep saying it. You so, never know which of your children is So Na a Nigerian movies, I'm going to touch on Nigerian movies now, because <clears throat> you would see a... Uh, for lack of a better actress, you know, you know the, the roles that uh, Patience Ozoko used to play, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Where she's literally uh, mm -hmm. dropping poison inside the soup and tasting it, mm -hmm. right? And kids will be watching that. Mm -hmm. And people don't think of it as an issue why it's a Nigerian film. But if they see um, uh, an international movie with a man and woman kissing, mm -hmm. and they, they will send the children out, so I, I think our focus really needs to be on consumption generally. Yeah, not just as, immoral, yeah, but also exactly. I've, actually, I've actually not had a problem with man and woman kissing movies, child. Oh, well, for I some parents. I feel children see you kiss your spouse every now and then. Ah, yeah, that's I for parents that kiss in front of their kids. Anyways, on this particular situation, no. the girl who is actually 12 turns 13 soon, and no. then the prosecutor literally is pushing that she be tried be. in an adult yeah. Court. For murder. I know that, yeah, because she's actually definitely going in for murder. Wow. Because it was wow. definitely wow. premeditated. So this one, it didn't matter how people yeah. Uh, yeah. subconscious. She no, thought about it and she knew exactly wow. what she was going to wow. do. So, yeah. All right. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Oof, whatever they may be, please use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and tag us at Wake Up Nigeria TVCE on Instagram. Let's take a break, guys. We'll be back.